Planet 8064616-0110. Another lonely island in the vast cosmic ocean, a long way from anywhere. What can we learn from the electromagnetic transmissions we're receiving? The lithosphere forms a third of the surface area and appears to be silicate-based, comprising deposits of oxygen dioxides, silicon, magnesium, nickel and calcium with an iron core. The atmosphere is extremely thin, but what there is of it comprises of nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. And the hydrosphere. Dihydrogen monoxide makes up the planet's thalassogen, the substance which forms the oceans. And look at this. It moves, almost as if it were alive. Could this be the advanced life we're looking for? It's cold there, one of the coldest planets we've seen supporting multicellular life. What can the perspective from this remote place add to our own? First, we must discover the source of these signals. Advanced civilizations on this planet at first appear unlikely. As you can see, life is not abundant there. What little life there is consists of complex carbons in liquid dihydrogen monoxide. This is strange. Carbon makes up just 0.19% of all elements on the planet, yet it seems to form the basis for all life. And the corrosive and addictive nature of dihydrogen monoxide is well documented. That life exists at all over there is surprising. The biosphere hosts a mixture of autotrophic and heterotrophic life. These autotrophs look familiar. We've seen them before. But they're not like those we've observed elsewhere in Section 806. Of the large communities we observed, all appear sedentary, uninterested in using their polydactyls for the manipulation of tools. Instead, advanced life appears to have evolved among the heterotrophs. The transmissions we received show evidence of nullipeds, bipeds, quadrupeds, pentapeds, and even octopeds. There appears to be diversity in the size and negentropic complexity of organisms. But while life on this planet is varied, it is not, by galactic standards, abundant. Of the total mass of the planet, the biomass makes up just 0.0000002%, the lowest we found in all of Section 806. That there is any organic life at all on this cold planet, let alone advanced life, goes against mathematical expectations. But the observation satellite continues to receive an abundance of electromagnetic transmissions, there is advanced life here, and it wants to communicate. These bilateral quadrupeds appear most frequently in the transmissions. But while they appear to possess some dexterity and the ability to build complex domestic structures, their sentient quotient is not high enough to be capable of sending electromagnetic signals. It didn't take us long to find what we were looking for. It's a species that matches our expectations of high sentience. It has overcome the limitations of evolution, harnessing the natural resources of the planet, as well as less advanced species, to its own ends. It has constructed complex civilizations which dominate the surface area of the whole planet. The transmissions reveal a species of high intelligence, curious, full of hope, and a society built on rituals and knowledge. In the most popular language of 8064616-0110, they are called Shia. In the second language, they are called Corporaciones. And in their third language, they call themselves Corporations. Why is this species the most advanced on this planet? What do they have that the others do not? 
and what can we learn from seeing the world through their eyes? We hope to answer these questions and more in the next section.